This is Top Accolade Global News Update. I am Abiodun Mohammed. The rescue of several survivors from the rubble in Turkey lifted the spirit of weary search crews on Friday, four days after a major earthquake struck the country and neighboring Syria, killing more than 21,000 people. Cold, hunger, and despair gripped hundreds of thousands of people left homeless in the middle of winter by the region's deadliest earthquake in decades. Several people were pulled from the rubble of buildings during the night, including a 10-year-old boy saved with his mother after 90 hours in the Samandag district of Ate province in Turkey's south. Also in Ate, a 7-year-old girl named Asia Domes was rescued after 95 hours and taken to hospital, the state-owned Anadolu news agency reported. In the Abakir to the east, Sebahat Varley, 32, and her son Serhat were rescued and taken to hospital on Friday morning, 100 hours after the first quake. But hopes were faded that many more would be found alive in the ruins of thousands of collapsed buildings in towns and cities across the region. The death toll from the 7.8 magnitude earthquake and several powerful aftershocks across both countries has surpassed the more than 17,000 killed in 1999 when a similarly powerful earthquake hit northwest Turkey. French President Emmanuel Macron said on Friday he did not rule out sending fighter jets to Ukraine at some point, but that Kiev was in need of more immediate military firepower. As Ukrainian officials said a fresh Russian offensive was underway, President Vladimir Zelensky has long urged Ukraine's allies to send jet fighters and on Thursday said that several European leaders were ready to supply aircraft. Such a move would be one of the biggest shifts yet in Western support and Moscow has warned it would escalate and prolong the conflict. But Markwon said the current priority was to help Ukraine in the weeks and months ahead and fighter jets could not be delivered in that time frame and it would take time to train Ukrainian pilots to fly them. Markwon said the priority should be on items such as artillery which had proven to be effective and on which Ukrainian forces were already trained. He said it might be necessary to intensify delivery of such items and Ukraine's allies would examine this possibility in coming days. President Joe Biden said on Thursday he did not view a Chinese spy balloon that transited the United States before it was shot down in the Atlantic Ocean to have been a major security breach. Biden, who has sought to maintain communications with China and not allow tensions with Beijing to get out of control, said in a noticias Telemundo interview that he did not regret shooting down the balloon sooner. He said US military officials were worried that by shooting it down over land, the balloon and its part could drop into a populated area. Biden, on February 2, ordered the balloon shot down once it crossed into the northwestern United States, but acquiesced to the U.S. military's request to not act until it was over water. The 200-foot-tall balloon, along with its undercarriage of electronic gadgetry, was shot down by a U.S. fighter jet off the coast of South Carolina on February 4. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa has declared a state of disaster with immediate effects to deal with the country's severe electricity crisis, including prolonged daily power blackout. The declaration of a state of disaster comes as rolling power cuts of up to eight hours per day are hitting homes, factories, and businesses across the nation of 60 million. The state of disaster is an emergency measure previously implemented to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 and the deadly floods that killed more than 400 people last year. According to Ramaphosa, the declaration will enable his government to exempt essential services like hospitals and water treatment plants from power blackouts and enable the government to buy additional power from neighboring countries on an emergency basis. It will also enable the government to assist businesses to deal with the effect of widespread power cuts, including making diesel-powered generators and solar panels more widely available. Ramaphosa also announced that he will appoint a minister of electricity whose sole focus would be to deal with the electricity crisis. That is the size of Top Accolade Global News Update. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy weekend!